Petersburg Funeral Home may be the first in the nation to offer a new service, a much more environmentally friendly way to dispose of bodies. Fox 13 Steve Nichols explains the process and you might say the ick factor some people might experience. The Anderson McQueen Funeral Home has been serving St. Petersburg for about six decades, long enough to see one major change in consumer demand. In our community here now, um, almost 75% of the clientele that we're privileged to serve choose cremation as their means of disposition rather than ground burial. Now a new twist, one that put Anderson McQueen on the cover of a funereal trade journal. It's called biocremation. As shown in this animation from the manufacturer, a body is placed in a stainless steel tube, which is then filled with water and a chemical catalyst. The contents is then heated under pressure for two to three hours, leaving skeletal remains which are then pulverized all of which we are told is environmentally friendly. My understanding is approximately seven times less uh, fossil fuels are used in the biocremation process versus the traditional flame cremation process. Another green aspect? Things such as uh, um, pacemakers, uh, implants, other things of that nature are left intact in pristine condition and could actually be used or recycled at a later time. McQueen admits this is the part where some people get squeamish. Each process produces about 150 gallons of wastewater. And there's nothing very ceremonious about what happens to it. It goes down the drain. So it gets treated like everything else that goes down every other drain. But in St. Pete, the green theme continues. Because most of St. Petersburg's wastewater is reclaimed and gets sprayed on lawns. Getting the proper city water permits is Anderson McQueen's final hurdle. It hopes to start offering biocremations before the end of the year. In St. Petersburg, Steve Nichols, Fox 13 News. And Florida is the first state now to allow biocremation, possibly for a couple of reasons here. There are already a lot of cremations performed here, and the new equipment is manufactured not far away, New Orlando.